Hello and welcome from the St. James Park in London. Finally a Conrad again. The Conrad London St. James has a perfect location in the heart of London. After enjoying the afternoon tea with the Queen, you walk along the lake in the St. James Park for 10 minutes and arrive back at your hotel. Here you can relax on one of the plenty seating arrangements around the lobby area, which is surrounded by very special and impressive statues. But let's come to the room now. We received an upgrade to a king executive room with lounge access on the third floor. Well, there are none without lounge access of course, since this is the benefit of executive rooms usually. We selected this room since it has a very special shape, with a bedroom to the right side and the bathroom to the front when entering. Some general remarks. The hotel was built in 2012 under the Intercontinental brand and became Conrad in 2014. Two years later it underwent a renovation which resulted in what you see today. A modern and contemporary hotel with 256 rooms, several meeting rooms and a restaurant. The bathroom offers the typical Conrad amenities and has in some areas a very nice marble decoration. Compared to the Waldorf Astoria Berlin, the Waldorf seems quite a bit more luxurious. It has less of these standard tiles and more marble, more lights, more design elements and so on. Also the Conrad in Istanbul had a more impressive and stylish bathroom. But well, that's whining at a high level. The shelf below is the personal dispenser for toothbrushes, slippers and much more. Now to the bedroom. The bedroom is rather small and compact and consists of the typical items. Bed, working desk, carving machine, armchair, wardrobe and the minibar. At the moment it is filled only with the complimentary water bottles but there are quite a few inside. Additionally, there is a lounge area, which we'll visit later on. Yes, it is indeed open in July 2020. There you can get many many more drinks all day long. Now to the view. On the schematics, the location of the room looked somehow interesting in terms of the view, but in fact there is no view. The window is very high and displaced so that you cannot even come close to it. In case that you manage to climb up and have a look outside, you see, well, not so much. This is probably the reason for the displaced and high window. Anyway, what else? The hidden TV seems stylish and creative and gives the room a special touch. The rest is nice and the bed is very comfortable. Finally, a short look onto the schematics to get a feeling for the shape of the room. Let's come to the executive lounge, which, as I said, was open since space is no issue here. As you can see, there are seating arrangements in every direction. We came here shortly after the UK lockdown was lifted, so the hotel was rather empty. The service provided for the executive guests was therefore splitted. In the executive lounge, the service was limited to soft drinks by daytime and there was no waiter around. This led to the issue that every used table remained uncleaned, so during the day more and more tables were unusable. However, this was no big issue since there were way more tables than needed. The second part of the service were some garlic drinks and some snacks in the restaurant. We'll see that in the images afterwards. Also in the lounge area you have the business corner with a computer and a printer. A large selection of soft drinks 
is to be found in the fridge. But careful, the number of glasses is also strictly limited. After all this walking and drinking, we are hungry now and go to the restaurant. The decoration is very lovely since the restaurant has many different corners in different styles. Most of the people went to the tables at the windows since there was still daylight. But to the food. The first image is the executive snack which was definitely of high quality. The beef and the vegan burger were also fine. The restaurant was okay in general. Unfortunately, the service was occupied more with themselves than with the guests and the waiting times were high. Not only to receive the food, but also to place the order. And to be honest, particularly for the snacks, they knew roughly how many guests they could expect, so it is not quite clear why it takes more than half an hour to deliver the snacks. Finally to the breakfast. Besides the noisy air condition, which was absolutely annoying, the breakfast was really, really great. But see for yourself. For the Conrad London St. James, we award 4.5 out of 5 diamonds. Next time we expect them to provide the puppets again. Thank you and goodbye. You're Alex from Gaia Dreams.